In this example, I'm going to create the square, and I'm going to put it on a layer with thickness. So you've seen me earlier use the rectangle feature to just create a little box for the 90 degree. Well, in this case, I'm going to undo this. Again, uh, remember to turn on your snap and set your settings to match mine. We're going to use this rectangle to create a bigger square this time. It's all it takes to make a square, but I'm going to remove this. So I'm going to delete it by selecting up here with my left button and dragging this down and selecting this one with my left button so everything inside gets captured and we'll hit delete. Let's recreate that, but let's put it on a specific layer. So under layer properties, I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to actually give it a name. I'll call it square. SQR for square. And then I'm going to make this come in. Let's try yellow. And select OK. And select this line to change the line weight to match what it calls off on figure 2-1 in your print reading book. So if you could open your book to page two, uh, figure 2-1. Figure 2-1, books vary on what page numbers they're on depending on what edition you have. So go to chapter 2, unit 2 whatever they're calling it these days, and find figure 2-1 where it shows the line weights for visible lines. The default is infinitely thin. I'm going to change that to 0.6 like it says and select OK. This time when I create a box, uh, you can, it will be on this layer here called square. So I can close this off. Over here where it says layers, you're going to hit the down arrow. And there's my layer I just created called square. Now, I could use the line feature to do this. We'll hit escape. Uh, let's hit the line. That's one way to create your square. Um, if I come over here, I do have my line weight thickness on, but it doesn't look any thicker. And the reason why is because this icon right here has to be active, show and hide line weight. So once I turn that on, you notice how much thicker that line is. Uh, that's really thick for me. For working on a small part, it's weird to see it that thick. But that's what the book calls off, so we'll go with that for now. Okay, again, I could use rectangle to create that square again. You'll have the same results for the most part. You'll see some differences later on when you go through this and do corners and chamfers. Let's create a rectangle on a different layer. So I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to click, sorry, we're going to create a layer. So create that new layer and call it rectangle. And let's give it a different color. And notice it duplicated whatever thickness I had last. So we're going to go ahead and uh, you can close this off, off here. This X is on the left side for some reason unknown to me. So I click this off. Select rectangle. And then click a position. And then click another position for your rectangle. I'm going to create another layer.
and add a new layer and I'm going to call it dimension and text. Notice I use all capital letters. Dimension and text is typically read for whatever reason for AutoCAD and the line weight say okay to the red and then the line weight is usually thinner like uh, man, I can't remember actually what it was. I'm just going to go back to the default and say okay. So I've created a layer for the text and dimensions. And I'll go ahead and create a dimension at this time after activating my new layer called dimension. Under dimension, if I select this line and select this line, those are equal sides. That is a square. Rectangle simply is a rectangular shape that is not equal sides on all four sides. All right, so that's a square and a rectangle. You'll notice that I don't have parallelogram to choose to create the other ones. So you'll have to use the line feature or polyline to create the remaining features on 4-1. Uh, sorry, figure 4-1. So in your book, skip up to figure 4-1. And create each one of those, uh, create each one of the quadrilaterals in the book, but I want them on different layers and different colors of your choice. Oh, what? Hey, wait a minute. What did I do? Um, let's do this. I'm going to select this and select rectangle. Oh, gosh, I got to hit escape. I'm going to highlight, I always do that, click here and click here, and then I'm going to choose square up here and select rectangle. So if you forgot to change your layers before you made your uh, rectangle, those are the steps to doing that. All right, I want you to create all the shapes and label them. Create a layer for dimensions that is red and text. So when you go to label it, it'll be on that same text layer. All right, that should be enough to get this exercise done. Your objective here is to create different layers, transfer geometry to different layers, and create all the different quadrilaterals.